Do you remember how to solve a one-step equation? Well, just like solving a one-step equation, we can also solve one-step inequalities. First, think about what an inequality is. An inequality describes a situation that is not equal. In this case, we're going to talk about mathematical situations. And an inequality uses a less than, greater than, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. And sometimes you're going to see a not equal, but mostly you are going to see these symbols when we're talking about inequalities. Now let's look at solving an inequality. x plus 2 is greater than 10. We want to figure out all the possible numbers that would work for x. And if we substituted them into this inequality for x, would make this a true statement. To do this, we need to get x alone. Just like we use the inverse operation when solving one-step equations, we're going to do that with this inequality. We're going to use the inverse of addition, which is subtraction, and we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of this equation. We bring down the x. x is greater than 8. So any value that's greater than 8 will work for this inequality and make it a true statement. This is solving the inequality. Let's do another one. y minus 6 is less than or equal to negative 4. Now again, we're going to use the inverse operation to get y alone. We're going to add 6 to both sides of this equation. Inequality. These cancel. We bring down the y. y is less than or equal negative 4 plus 6 is 2 y is less than or equal to 2. Again, we've solved this inequality. Here's another one. x minus 9 is greater than or equal to negative 5. We use the inverse operation to get rid of the minus 9 by adding 9 to both sides. Bring down the x. These cancel. x is greater than or equal to 4. Now we can also graph this solution on a number line. Take a look. Now the solution to this inequality also includes 4. So I'm going to put 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to put a closed circle at 4. And I know that x is greater than or equal to 4. So my arrow goes this way. Now I've graphed the solution to this inequality as well as solved it x plus 5 is less than negative 2. Let's start by solving the inequality. We use the inverse of addition, subtraction. We subtract 5 from both sides. These cancel. x is less than negative 7. Now, let's graph the solution on a number line. First, notice that negative 7 is not part of the solution set. This symbol does not have an equals to underneath it. So I need to put an open circle at negative 7. This shows that negative 7 is not part of the solution set. And then everything less than that is. So I draw my arrow going to the left to show that all the values less than negative 7 will work as a solution for this inequality.